Hey there. So, I would like to apologize for how freaking long that took. <laughs> OBS updated, and yeah, like Kovar was warning me, the webhooks broke, so I had to like reconfigure those. And then, right when I was about to go live after doing that, it turns out that the filter I put on my capture card to make it not so piss Mexico yellow had also just vanished. So I had to scramble for a replacement. Hopefully it looks alright. I mean, it looks alright to me as far as I can tell. Just boost the blues up a little bit. The blues! Yeah, I'm singing the color correction blues, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do chapter six, but I figured first what we might want to check out is the Prince Mush fight. But first, let me see what this guy's got. Nope, not what I want. Oh, did not mean to do that. But first, let me check my numbers. Let me check my numbers. Hey, one of them match. Matched. Oh, okay. I was I was expecting money, but all right. Hello, Zeej. And hello, Miles. And hello, Dolly! I should probably cook some more things. Find some things to cook. Jesse. Okay, but we just gotta hop in here. Uh, switch to this. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that yet, actually. Yeah, maybe maybe I should wait till I actually get in the room. Prince Mush, the old champ, the best the Glitz Pit has to offer. And as I mentioned, a, a totally new fight in this game. Like, they added two new fights, this is gonna be one of them. And I know- I know one thing he does, but besides that, I- I don't. Oh, he's just hanging out right here. Mario, my friend, you came. Thanks to you, I've been able to thrill my fans once again as Prince Mush. I'd love to show you my appreciation by fighting you. If you're up for it, just enter my exhibition match. Yeah, so I thought you'd have to fight through the whole glitz pit, but it turns out you don't. Exhibition. Prince Mush. Yes. Okay, get her out here. All right. Let's see how this goes. I'm a little afraid. I'm a little uh, scared. Time for today's main event, and we're in for a beaut of a brawl. Here, before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. When it's all is said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? 
Let's get our star gladiators out here. First, making his triumphant return to the Glitz Pit, it's the Great Gonzalez. What an entrance. This crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion. And standing opposite our newest champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks. Back in action and better than ever. Ready for a royal return to the ring. Give it up for Prince Mush. Two champions face to face at last. The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl! Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we got. Oh, he's wobbing and beaving. That's Prince Mush, the original champion of the Glitz Pit. He's finally making his comeback. Got a max HP of 96! An attack of 6 and a defense of 6. You never guessed that he was kept away from fighting for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. He's known for being a clean fighter, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He's also known to switch between different battle styles. Just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, we'll have to think fast to come up with a good attack method. And if you're not sure you'll come out on top, try to rely on super guards. Also, I've heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there, hmm? Some cake-based trauma in his past? Whatever, if you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true, unrivaled champion. Okay, so... Yeah, that's... that that's some freaking, uh... That is some freaking, uh, <laughs> stats right there. Oh! And, he, and he takes FP too? What the, what the actual shit? <laughs> okay, this is not boding well for old Dustin. So if he's hopping up and down... Well, I did one damage. <laughs> okay, let me see. If he's going left or right... Yeah, he dodges that. Yeah, I I knew this wouldn't be easy. Maybe you got a super guardian. Maybe that's the test. Yeah, that might actually be what you gotta do. Okay, I understand the I understand the mission. Yeah, when he's doing left or right, you cannot jump on him. Okay, so I probably want... ...some more FP. Also, this song's pretty good, too. Oh, yes, that is good. Hey, GT, and yep. Okay, I, I wish I could get more than that, but... It would be, you know... It's, it's still alright. Yeah. Like he said, there's still nothing to scoff at. 
Oh, I pressed it way too late. Hang on, I think I, I think I can do something here. Oh, cool. I need to use that at some point, but we're gonna use Art Attack right now. Maybe I should have waited till I parried him, I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's good damage. Aha! So yeah, honestly, a fight that make, requires you to make use of super guards is actually a really sick idea. And I'm glad that they came up with it. Okay, that's four. I think my problem is I need to pay attention more to the button icon. Oh, he went super sand! Oh! I don't freeze me. You don't freeze him. Okay, that is, that is not good. That is not good there. I mean, I got a life shroom. Okay, I don't know what this move is. I don't know if he's gonna dodge me. Crap, I didn't do the stylish. Oh! No, that is the fuck you move. What the shit? Oh, okay. And he can do that too, so... You know, why not? Why not? Why the heck not? Oh, and he's immune to lightning. You know, because of course he is. Oh, I pressed that way too early. Okay, well, Goombella... Goombella's dead. Slippy's dead! And let me guess, that's gonna affect me, me and not him. Right? This is not gonna do any damage, is it? Yep. Go figure. Okay, then. Do I get my items back? I, I have a feeling I don't get my items back. God, what the heck was that even? Okay, no I do not, so I might want to reload. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I knew it was going to be a hard boss. I didn't expect it was going to be this.
Okay, so I may need to be slightly better prepared. Okay, so... I'm gonna turn that off. W emblem. All mid-air enemy. Don't need this. Might need this. I mean, I'd do this, but I feel like... Would, would this even work on him? Oh, W emblem just makes me Wario. Okay, so... What else can I do? No, I need that. I mean, that might be handy. If I could just get this. You know what? I might take off the quick change. Because chances are I'm gonna use my partners for whatever they're worth. Let's try that again. Let's let's see if we can do it with this loadout. How many life shrooms you got? Uh just one. You think I should go get more? Yeah, probably should. Can I leave? No, I can't leave. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll do it this time, and if I lose again, I'll, I'll go out and do some shopping. Oh, wait, did I? I forgot to switch to Goombella, didn't I? It'd be great if I could skip this. Yep, I did, because I'm a moron. Largest moron on the face of the planet. Okay, so I'll use up my first turn to tattle him. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Is it just me or does it look like Prince Mush and the announcer are brother and sister? Yes, that is, that is actual lore. I mean, am I supposed to have cake? Oh, pressed it too. Pressed it a little too late. What do you mean, no damage? Why, why that? Did I accidentally put on a badge that reduced? No, I used power plus, right? Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing much better than four. What, what was that? Why did I do that? Yeah, if, he, if he's jumping, you can't use hammer. If he's going side to side, you can't use jump. Cool, cool, no, no attack power. Maybe I should use sweet treat. Just a little heal. Ah! Well, you know how it is. Well, I mean, Goombella's not managing to do anything. You know what? We'll, we'll use this. Make sure, give Mario some, uh, you know, some insurance. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, he's just immune to all status effects, it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, you know what, you know what? Appeal. Banana appeal. Okay, and now I'm gonna do art attack. Okay, I don't- I don't think it actually matters with art attack whether or not he's kneeling. remember using charge for this fight. Yeah, honestly, that, that might be a good idea for me to use charge. This is one where, yeah, that would, that would come in handy. No, I think I'm just gonna focus on pure offense right now. Why is it only doing it once? What am I, what am I, what am I messing up? Oh, yep, too early. Why did she not use the stylish move? Okay, uh, now I'm gonna use the spike pouch, because I think you could argue this man is attacking directly. Okay, he's going Super Sand. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't want to use that on her. <laughs> no offense, Goombella. Please don't do that. It is, it is not good for me when you do that. Hmm. It might be best for Goombella to appeal. It might be best for me to appeal. Oh, oh. Get parried! I am using the Goomba as a meat shield. Why did he not do the stylish?
Oh, pressed it way too early. Okay, yeah, if I can't, if I can't move him to the back, then, uh, okay, then, yeah, that might, that might be a problem. Okay, so, yeah, gonna need more life shrooms. Gonna need better strategy. Probably need to bring charge into this, yeah. Okay, so I need to run over to the store. Charge is the Volt Shroom status, right? No, uh... Charge is a badge that lets you boost your attack power... ...for the next turn. Yeah, so this is for Mario. But yeah, he's like immune to status effects, so... ...anything that gives him... ...a status effect. is not particularly useful. Hmm. I could do this. It also put HP plus on. Or could use FP plus flower saver. Mm, defend plus P, I am very close to being able to use. Okay, yeah, I can get rid of that. Okay. So yeah, now my partner can take less damage. May have to run back to Rogueport for this. Let me see, what do they got in the souvenir shop? Boosts attack power. Hmm. Okay, so... Anything that does something to him... ...does not seem to work. Spike pouch doesn't work. So we need stuff that affects us. So, Power Punch would probably be good. Mike Tyson's Intergalactic Power Punch. Oh, I'm out of coins. Uh... Do I got anything I can sell? Not for particularly much. So, yeah, I'm in a bind with that. Got a ton of Super Mushrooms, though. Peachy Peach could probably cook that. I don't know if I want to use the Wacka bump. I mean, this is probably going to be the single hardest fight in the game. <laughs> Unless that other secret fight is even harder, but... But yeah, he doesn't have any life shrooms, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere else for this.
But yeah, let's see what the Rogue Port store has. Yeah, my problem right now is I ain't got no cash. I ain't got no doubloons. I can't afford to buy too much extra. I could sleep at an inn, though. Because if I sleep at an inn, I'm pretty sure I get my star points back. Okay, no. They don't have them here. I mean, it would probably make sense... ...for the life shrooms to be in, like, Keelhaul Key or, uh... ...Twilight Town, because those are, like, later area games. Oh, the shop in the west. I didn't even think about that. What am I doing here? I- what did I- what did I come here to do? I- I like I walked in here and I'm like, why did I do that? Actually, why did I do that? Like, I think I might have, uh... They're slightly cheaper in Twilight Town. Oh, well then, yeah, I probably need to go there, because like I said, I got no- I got no cash. Only there was a sale going on right now. That would help me out a lot. <laughs> But, there's not, so... My nose is a little stuffy. Not because I'm crying. Even though I am. 40 coins. <laughs> okay, well, what do I- what do I got that I can sell? Why is the super mushroom only two coins? Why is it only two coins? Um, hmm. I mean, I could sell this, which isn't that good a heal. I could sell the honey mushroom. What else do I got in here? I mean, I got plenty of supers. You know what, we can- we can sell that. Maybe one of the inn coupons. No, no way- no, I remember now, I meant to go to the inn. That's what I- <laughs> that's what I meant to do. Hello, integer. Okay, the inn coupon is five. Okay, this. This. I need one more coin. <laughs> Life mushroom is one coin. They're just like, yeah, just don't, don't sell it. Just don't. <laughs> okay, if I get one more thing out. You could probably make tea with this. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this out. I'm gonna try to make tea. You know what, I- I'm gonna sell the maple syrup. But- I- Like, I don't know if I even can do Danger Mario. Okay. Okie doke. So, might as well swing by the inn. There was an inn over here, right? No, you know what? I'm going up anyway. I'm going up. Would I be form- would I be overstepping my bounds to formally ask him to stop requesting that? Uh, not necessarily. I mean... I don't want to be, like, mean about it or anything, but yeah, we- we- we got- you know, we know. We're aware of the strategy. We're- we're aware, in our minds, that it is something that we can do.
Well, I mean, maybe it's something we can do. Like I said, I'm not sure that I am actually able to equip myself in that fashion. Okay. And if I am correct... Yeah, my star points are all the way back. Is there anything good in here? Damage dodge. I mean, I don't have en enough money to buy anything. So, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, now let's see, can we make some tea with the leaf? Yeah, you have to lower your health levels. Also, excuse me. Or maybe she'll make a salad. Ooh. Yep, tea. Oh, 20 FP. That is quite nice, actually. Is there anything else I should cook in here? I zest tea. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, I don't know anything. I mean, I- there's like the coconut from the island I could always get at some point, but I gave that to Flavio. I gave that to Flavio. Okay, now let's go give this one more try. Remember to switch to Goombella first this time. You can make a salad with one of those and a turtly leaf. Oh, I think I actually have a turtly leaf, but... I would need to go back to the creepy steeple. Hey, Zero Kirby. Yeah, we're trying to fight Prince Mush. It's going about as well as you would expect from seeing this. Okay, okay. So walk over to the locker room. We may not get to Chapter 6 tonight. I mean, I don't know. We, we might do a little bit of Chapter 6. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Okay, so let, let's see. Can we do this? Can we do this? Yeah, you can speed that up by trying to open the door. That's a little secret. Yeah, like I said, though, wish wish I could skip it. Maybe you can skip this if you fought him before. Oh yeah, it's a good fight. It's just really difficult, which I mean I appreciate. <laughs> the Mush Prince of Blair. I mean I appreciate a fight that makes me actually have to actually think about <laughs> how I'm doing things. Okay. Honestly, what might be a good idea is to save my FP until I like get to the super phase and then use Vivian to hide me. Okay, now what to do? I mean, I guess start with this. Yeah, that's- it's not enough attack power. So I need something to buff me up. It <laughs> goes to Zesty. Can you make me a sandwich? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I, I forgot about the cake. I could have done something with cake. Don't do that. Like he's already boosting. Yeah, I'm gonna use the boost sheet next turn. Uh, let's just go ahead and use Art Attack so we could be building up our power. Okay, now... Oh, uh, but then... Well, yeah, I, don't, I was gonna say I couldn't parry him, but... That might be for the best if he's boosting his attack power. Oh, unless he goes for Goombella. Again, didn't want to use my... Didn't want to use that on her, but okay. That's pretty good for star power that- well, maybe it's not. And when he's going left to right, I can't do that. There's nothing you can do to prevent life shrooms being used on partners. Not that I know of. Okay, missed. I wasn't aware this item lasted so long. Can you, like, stop? Oh, okay. Can't use punch. Oh, what do you mean? I pushed that. Well, I mean, there's not much I can do to actually hurt him at the moment. So, uh... Hmm. You know what, I'm just gonna appeal. Maybe I should've defended, actually. Maybe I should've did that. Okay, I should be able to use this now. Okay, never mind. Throw a cake at him, I don't have one! Actually, this might be good. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good move to do. Well, there's not much Vivian can actually do here. So I'm just gonna use Veil. Uh, could you not? Oh, thank goodness. Thank the good Lord. Up in heaven for that. Okay, that's good damage. That's good damage. And Vivian will be able to do the same. Oh, but he can't be lit on fire. Oh. Well, it was only one. Anything else I can do? Yeah. Boost Mario's defense. Okay, the other secret boss doesn't really compare to this. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm just gonna 
appeal as Vivian. The crowd loves Vivian. Hmm. Yeah, you could probably, like, actually do something. Oh, I forgot. Come on, bud. Oh. Oh! That could have been a problem. Okay, now Vivian needs to heal Mario. Oh! Don't freeze, don't freeze. Thank you. Okay, if I can get one more level, I can do that. Probably need to drink the tea. Well, I tried to super guard that. That didn't work. This, this attempt is not going well. I'm not going to lie to you. Vivian, uh, use the thunder. Okay, so now we know which one the real one is. Okay. Did not super guard that. Would you cut that out? What do you mean that doesn't do- Okay, I guess you really just gotta parry. So, uh... I'M PRESSING THE B BUTTON! I mean, I guess if you get hit even once. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more try. And if I can't, if I can't do it now, I may need to wait until I can equip myself better. Or do Danger Mario, I don't know. But that feels too cheap. Also, it assumes I can kill him before he can kill me. Which might not be possible with this boss. I mean, I didn't put charge on. Let me see. Let me reevaluate. So, honestly, I might not need to protect my partner. I know that sounds messed up, but. But yeah, use charge, but I, I still have three left. Mm. 
Hmm. Might use close call. Could use happy heart. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use happy heart. Imagine doing this with double pain. Yeah, that would be kind of nuts. Again, wish you could skip the intro cutscene. It's like... Freaking Wyvern from Sonic Frontiers. And like I said, maybe you can if the game saves that you've watched it, but... The problem is I would have to tattle him and then die on purpose and then do another one. And see, I can't even die on purpose because... <laughs> because I got life shrooms. Deposit your items, tattle, die on purpose, then save and come back. Well, it's too late for that now. Hmm. Pardon me. But, oh, but it costs one FP to charge. Wait, you can stylish the tattle? You mean I could have been doing this, this, that, and you? I could have been doing that this entire time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yes! Okay. We got something going here. No, please. I will accept this. And then I messed that up, okay. Oh! Why is this one going so good? Okay, I'm definitely going to use multi-bounce on him. I mean, power bounce. Okay, not, not the best, but not bad. Oh, yeah, keep doing that, please. <laughs> okay, uh, this <laughs> this time I'm just mopping the floor with him for some reason. Except I can't do that. I can't do multi-mount. Okay, I have the shroom. I have the shroom. Stop that. Hmm. 
Mm, okay, so... I'm gonna use Power Lift, and then I'm gonna have Goombella heal Mario. Ah, oh, crap. Crap! Oh, okay, well, not bad, not bad. Could have been better, but not bad. Okay, now Goombella... No, wait, actually... No, I can't switch out to Vivian, because... That'll cost me a turn. Yes! Oh, please, please. Okay, never mind. Yeah, um, sure, I'll take free money. One coin, thank you. I, I don't know why I keep doing that, because I clearly do not know. Okay, okay. Okay, they're like, oh, no. Like, we can't let that happen again. Oh, no, didn't work. I'm gonna appeal. God, that was the most embarrassing yes ever. Yes! Oh, and the stylish on the end, yeah! Oh, that feels good. Thank you, everybody. So, so strong. You've got me beat, Mario. Dude, it took me like five tries. Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle. Wild moves, raw power, flying fists of furry, fury. What power, what beautiful destruction. This was without a doubt, inarguably, definitely, absolutely, completely, an extreme battle of the very highest caliber. But there could only be one winner, and this time it was the Great Gonzalez. Yeah, everything's gonna seem really easy after that. <laughs> 30 coins. Thank you. You can't redeem yes kill for some reason. Like like Twitch won't let you do it. Or you redeemed it and it just didn't work. Let me let me see. Yes! Kill! There, you can have you can have that one for free. Oh, that's right. I hear mush. Oops, make that Prince Mush has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway if, if you want to catch him now. That's all. Take care, Gonzalez. Okay, but I think I'm going to take a nap first. And yeah, see, we still have a we still have an hour left for chapter six. Gonzalez is back bomb! It's an honor to bomb fight in the same arena again. What's up, man? Good to finally see you again. For real. Me? I unretired. Let's rock this joint. Rock. Mustache better than Kleptor when Kleptor was mustache's age. Hey, how are you, Gonzalez? You're looking pretty good. Glad to see it. But yeah, really cool fight, though. As hard, as unfathomably difficult as it is, Really good fight. Mario, thank you so much- Oh, he calls me Mario. He doesn't call me Gonzalez. Thank you so much for that incredible match. Uh, writing mistake, or simply that he respects me too much. I don't know. We put on quite the show there, didn't we? I know I gave it everything I had. We should both be proud. 
I have a gift for you. Consider the thank you for being such a great opponent. I hope you'll take it. Prince Mush's belt. I'm ready for a rematch any time, and I intend to win it. Uh, does that do anything, or is that just, uh... No. No, it's just, it's just saying, you done it! Congration, you done it! I think I just saved, but I'll do it again. Give me a hot dog. Oh, he gets to meet the Josh. Yeah, give me a hot dog. No. I didn't mean to swat at you, but, you know. All right, anyway, to the thousand year door, I guess. Nope, nope, that wasn't the way. That was not the way. This is the way. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm like... It's honestly really cool to have a boss fight that requires that. Because normally, like, like I told you when I... Or at least I think I told you. When I was a kid, I got through this whole game without super guarding even a single time. So it's it's nice to have an optional thing where it's like, yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta learn how to super guard. Only two more remain. Like Grotus was saying last time. Alright, show me the way. Emit the particles. Back when I didn't know what strategy was. Yeah, I would play Pokemon games by just hammering the attack button over and over. And if that didn't work, then uh, keep doing it until it did. Cool. Let's cruise back and check in with the professor. Oh yeah. The prof. Oops, my friends. Now we know the next crystal stars in Poshley Heights. Oh man, aren't there oodles of rich and famous people living in that place? Yes, yes, and I believe Poshley Heights is also home to a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. The next crystal star must be hiding inside that shrine. I'm certain of it. Barely certain. Mostly certain. But hey, no fierce monsters or dangerous dungeons this time. Just a simple tourist attraction. Get to the point, Prop. How do we get to this snobville anyway? That's the best part! You ride the most famous train of all, the XS Express! Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next crystal star will be yours! Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch! Hey, I heard you had to be disgustingly rich for a ticket to that train. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this too. What? I heard stories about that guy, and he sounds intense. Man, well, whatever, I guess. If we gotta, we gotta, right? Let's do this, Gonzalez. Excellent, then we're set. 
We may not have much time until the demon resurrects. You must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. You got in one little fight and we're going to Bel Air. <laughs> oh. Boo mail. Are you Mario? Did this email... Did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a tip with you as friends, so here it is. There's still lots of treasures in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you've probably already found it all. I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not-so-useless adventure. Oh, that's that's fairly nice of a guy who was trying to mob me. Oh, what impeccable timing! Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Oh, that's right, there is that room in Hooktail's castle. Well, uh, I think it's pretty important that we do that, considering that, you know, it's Merlin that told us about it. I'm sure you can figure out what it is. First, I'm going to take a swig. Okay, so... Technically, we may or may not be doing Chapter 6 tonight. <laughs> because, on one hand, we're doing the lead-up to Chapter 6, but we may not be actually doing Chapter 6. Yeah, we went back to Hooktail's Castle for the Miss Mouse quest. You, you gotta go there a lot, apparently. The problem is, I can either go fast, or I can have the treasure sniffer. I don't get both. Paper Mario 64 would have given you both. Just let her, just let her sniff it. Just let her sniff it out. Oh, no. Okay, there's, there seems to be nothing there. Like I said, love how the music gets quiet when you get close to the castle. Okay, but the, the plus side is, this time, we don't have to actually go through the entire freaking castle. We only have to go about halfway. Maybe even like one third of the way. Okay, Miss Mouse, here you have the quest that you sent me on for no reason. A boner. Boner. Well, do you want to know something? I'm going to steal your fire flower. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, well, it doesn't work for her. Yep, yep, stealing your fire flower and running away. Suck it. Okay. 
Guess I just gotta pop in over here. Well, actually, don't don't take her out yet. It might. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I'm fine. Never mind. No, it seems like this place is pretty thoroughly treasureless. Well, I mean, besides this. So yeah, we need Bobbery. So you may remember, over here, there was a crack. Break your mama's back. Crack. Okay, I don't understand why there needed to be all those theatrics, but okay. Up! Up! And weirdly enough, there was no down. Which means it was only up. Does anybody even still remember that game? Has that faded from the public consciousness at this point? I got snagged on the wall. Yeah, like the Ed and Eddie episode. It's all about up! When I was little, I always thought that episode was the funniest thing for some reason. I didn't even know why. It's probably funnier as an adult, and you know about line go up. Nope. No. No. It's a grift that isn't a grift. I mean, technically speaking, the other kids aren't getting anything out of it. Besides just some brief entertainment. But... I mean, technically, they're also not supplying anything that they have not said that they would supply. Oh, yeah, I... I also think about the Cardboard City all the time. Literally all the time. It's my Roman Empire. Okay, but now we can go back to Rogueport. We can upgrade our partners some more, probably. And then we can a we can actually proceed with the story. And talk to Don Pianta. But I mean, I think most of you understand why having your partners upgraded is a very important thing. And why I'd rather do it than not do it. What is that in your hand? What's this, an up arrow? An up arrow? Up? Of course! Merlin returned to his home planet. This is the Ultra Stone! So that is what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. 
I like that we can't just find the stone in the chest. We have to find the up arrow so he can find the stone. <laughs> we are cooking now. Here to power up a partner right this minute? Yeah. So yeah, the shine sprites that had become useless are no longer useless. Is the animation here different at all? I don't think so. Okay, now who else? I mean, let's let's do Bobbery. Also, who who should the third one be? Vivian, maybe. Maybe we could level up Vivian. Vivian. Infatuate to confuse all enemies. Ooh, but this is actually a really good power right here. Oh god, all of these are really good. Hmm. What do you guys think? Oops, or Mouse. I'll, I'll go with Mouse. I'll give her recency bias. Okay, now, now we can proceed. We're not gonna get very far into chapter six, but <laughs> some chapter six will happen. Hang on, let me save. Yeah, we can at least start chapter six. But yeah, we gotta go talk to the mob again. Wait, did she smell something? Hang on. No, nothing back there. Cause I heard a What do you gotta say? Uh, poor kid. Francesca. Oh, poor boss. A big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our uh, underboss, Frankie, is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us left and right. Well, ain't enough about us and our pr stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? Ah, tickets for the ritziest train around, for the XS Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that, Rolling Wingding? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. Only we can help the boss see his daughter again. You mean that cutie Frankie and that darling Francesca? They were on Keel Hall Key. Who's that and what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll ask the boss to do something about your little train ticket situation. We got a deal or what? Deal? See, now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. 
Okay, so yeah, now we gotta go. We gotta go to the island. I know we were just there, but we gotta go back. I'm just gonna pull out the Yoshi. Okay, now where does where does this pipe take me? Okay, right into town. That's good. Oi, Captain Stash! What the Piantas? Oh, they're in the jungle looking for something. I think. Oh, hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? We do something for you? What? The boss is sick. Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no, and at a time like this. You see, I... I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave till I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. it must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Aw, oh, fine, you dizzy dame. I love you. 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 Ten times. I love you. 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 Oh, there, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Are oh, you think these guys are going to be all right looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Gonzalez, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Okay, between here and the skull rock. Well, I know who can help us with that. And yeah, they, they actually make you dismiss that tech box like a hundred times. This game... Oh wait, actually, while we're here... This game loves to mess with the player. While we're here, let's get a coconut.
Yeah, we get one of those about once per stream. It's pretty cool. You guys are the best viewers. Don't listen to that guy. He don't know nothing. Gee, I wonder where the ring could be. But yeah, see, the difference between this game messing with the player and Sticker Star messing with the player is that this game is good. And it has earned the right. But you didn't hear it from me. Actually, yes, you did. I'd say don't quote me on that, but do quote me on that. In fact, I want you to put that up on your wall. Oh, hey, that's it. That's it. That's the ring. That's the ring. You found it, pal. Frankie, now we can go home to daddy. You sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Oh, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. But before I leave back to Rogueport, there's something I want to do while I'm here. First, let me make sure my inventory is not, like, stupid full. Yeah, it is. I'm glad I came by here. We'll store the Fire Flower and the Thunder Rage. You know what, and we can put, uh, two of the Ultra Mushrooms up, because we, we don't need it after that. Okay. I forgot there was no door there. It is just a tent. I'm sorry, my son. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Okay, pasa. Need to go back to Rogueport? Yes. Muy bien, we are off. Cast off to Rogueport. Maybe I should have given this guy a Hispanic accent. I probably shouldn't have skipped that. Probably should have given that guy like a Hispanic accent because his name is Cortez and he says a bunch of Spanish. But you know, hindsight's 2020. Hey, Weege. Don't you have a princess to save? I like that that version seems to only play, like, after... <laughs> after Chapter 5. Okay, still no... Still no Duichi badge. I want that Luigi badge. And I know you can get it by this point, because I remember having it when I played the original. I'm just gonna bring Bobbery up. Just in case he has any dialogue. Daddy, 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 wake up, open your eyes. Boss. Francesca? Daddy! Boss! <laughs> oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. You can only get the LMM during chapter 6. Maybe that is what happens. Yeah, that might be right, actually. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. <laughs> Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but... I want the two of you to stay here, with me. I can't bear to be away from you two lovebirds. I'm an old man now. I need peace. 
I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my success successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Don Pianta Syndicate. What? But, but boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking about that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did. Boss. You, Mario. It looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is just... This is gonna be just beautiful, I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd ask you about a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought your daughter. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten, help yourself. You come back anytime you like, how about that? Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will ya? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Tee hee hee. Underboss. Uh, I mean, Boss, you got our loyalty. We'll be at your side whenever you need us, Boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Oh no, there's another one! Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the Syndicate? It's the life, kid. Yo, you're big, Mario. We always seem to be in your debt, you know? If there's ever anything the Pianta Syndicate can do for you, just say the word. Frankie and I are gonna keep the Pianta Family Syndicate together. And maybe we'll start our own family. Oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> Frankie's nice, but you don't want to see him angry. He is called Furious Frankie. Once, 100 punks came after Frankie when he was alone, and he ruined them. But Frankie around ain't nothing to fear. He's why us Piantas stay in control. We're gonna support our brother. I mean, our new boss. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So there we go. There we go. Jolly good show. We'll reach Parsley Heights in time for tea, eh? Finding that six crystal star shouldn't be more taxing than a vacation, eh, what? <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. So, the six crystal star is in Parsley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. <laughs> Your bedroom. Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that sappy trader, Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live, for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> Mario, that bodes ill. I suggest we reach Poshley Heights before that crone. Look alive, man. We're off to Rogueport Station. Frankie is an ultra chuckster. <laughs>
Once he said, I'm a chuckster, and that guy's blood still getting scraped off the walls. Yes. Onto the train, all aboard. Got a star on the front, and it spins. It's got like a, several of them, actually. Chapter six, three days of excess. Yeah, this is a good remix of that. Mario's Cabin. Hmm. The Excess Express. Rather posh, I must say. Yes, rather posh indeed. Three days to Posley Heights ought to pass by in an eye blink, eh, old boy? Oh. Hmm. Now, well, I'll be bomb. What's that on the floor? And when did it get here? Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Rather odd threat, eh? You don't think that Beldum crone's responsible, do you? But regardless of who it may be, the scoundrel is surely on this very train. Let's rouse this swine before they have the chance to cause mischief. Oh, yeah. But first, I'm gonna grab that. Oh, yeah, they, they kept it. Like the way they have... They made... In the original, they made the music sound like it was being played through the train speakers. And they kept it. Okay, well, explore the train, I suppose. See if there's any like treasures. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. In this trip, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. I want an autograph. Oh, this chapter's so cute, though. Hello, I am Chef Shimi, the, culin the culinary expert. Glad to meet your complainants. Uh, I mean acquaintance, so sorry. Cheap Cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it, so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. And see if we got, like, an item shop in here? Yeah. Yeah. And this guy's got a bow tie. Okay, go back here. There's blue. I'm on my way back home. I've strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. Oh wait, we gotta have Goombella talk about stuff. That's Pennington, a train passenger. He says he's a detective, but I don't know. I mean, why do detectives types always show up when something goes wrong, huh? This is a passenger car. The blue and brown interior here is totally chic. Passenger cabins here are numbered 6, 7, and 8, but you knew that. Anybody in here? Me? I have a very important deal to attend once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes. 
Oh, so it's a tax write-off, huh? Oh, hey, it's these guys. You remember these guys. Oh, you are the champion of the glitch pit, are you not? Yes, the great Gonzales. Bound for Parsley Heights? Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We are en route to Parsley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Um, <laughs> my, my, my. Yeah, I'm Bub, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Hello to you, and welcome to the Excess Ex Express. I am the conductor of this train, and I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Cabin 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Just to let you know, beyond here is the baggage car. I'm sorry, but I can't let passengers in. What's that? Some sort of a sticky, yummy threat? I, I see. Good gracious me. Thank you for letting me know. Please be careful out there and return to your cabin. I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to do that. Go through the door. <laughs> Thought I was going to have a nice lunch on my expense account- uh, Expense account. Rats. This is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. I'm dying for a taco, guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This isn't in my contract. Oh no, and Zip Toad is here and everything. No, my life is totally ruined. No, my heart cries out in the salty pain of misery. That was my master beast. I mean my masterpiece. And now it is gone, and I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. Oh, but there's, there's a trail. Hmm, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of the supper stew that has vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery you just said? And, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You would likely not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. In this little conundrum, my dear passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh. The central clue of this case, and the most vital one as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all. And so, my esteemed friends, I can only conclude that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have like no idea what you're talking about. Mm, pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand. Yes, sorry. <laughs> very good. You know, I don't think this guy's very good. Let's get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Mm, yes. Let me get this straight. What we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my cabin. Hmm. <clears throat> you there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your cabin, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I've just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. <laughs> Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer. Geezer! I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but... Well then, who did do it, hmm? <clears throat> this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Hey, this totally looks like spilled stew on the floor. We can follow the trail to the thief, Mario. 
Hey, it might even be the same person who, that, who wrote that sticky, yummy threat note. What makes me say that? A Goomba's intuition. Um, you follow the doo-doo on the floor, and it will lead us straight to him. Aha! The Fat Man! Whoa, 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 what do you want? Bleh. Sorry about that. Now, what was it? Were you just saying, apart from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame me right away with no evidence. Not nice. What? Drops a stew on the floor outside? N no, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Well, he said he wouldn't, we wouldn't find anything. Okay, I'm gonna go check. There are several gourmet food magazines here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the XS Express. There is a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There's something under the magazines. Sorry, I ate it all! It was me! So, you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to collar the ruffian. Now, about that note in your cabin. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in cabin six so that we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you would. Uh, he is fat. He is fat and eats many food. Okay, what's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. One of these is the one I came from, though. You found the stew thief? That's so totally amazing. Oh, good sir, you've discovered my thoughts? Wait, my pot! Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have brought back my dear pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you, from me. Here's just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Ah, uh, why must I butcher this language so... So shameful. Please take it, I mean. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my good sir. Oh, they scrub it. Yeah. Scrub. Aha, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deduced from this lack of any incriminating evidence in his cabin. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I'm known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you've heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose, hmm. Oh, ho, ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. <laughs> I love that there was like a... Luigi with reverb when he said that. <laughs> now about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. Thy family of bob they are definitely suspect. 
Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. You know, I don't know. I think that's Babam profiling, but oh, nighttime. Oh, oh, there's an argument. I think we should get Little Bob an advanced learner's classic series of Bob Armory. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob, it's too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his edu education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure. Really cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It has "ow" at the front. Now you've got it, don't you? Ow. 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 Ouch. I was really forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. <laughs> the thing that young Master Bub wants most. Well, let us deduce, shall we? Why, it is rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Yes, I'm quite sure. My grasp of the modern youth culture's enthusiast desires has never been stronger. The Owl Boy Advance. Of course. Let's see, is there anything here that starts with Owl? No. Oh, this, this version of the song, like this music is really good. Yes, about this thief, I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal the entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. I mean, yeah, as a chef, that would be quite flattering, wouldn't it? Augmented reality glasses, see, there you go. This guy's thinking. Oh, okay. Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like, all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Yeah, alright. We'll bring out the sniffer. Is this my room? Whose room is this? God, the lighting is so gorgeous in this area. I mean, I think I know what th one of these- that that room is. But we- we can't say that until later. See, all those people chasing hyper-realism, they don't know what they're talking about. And see, Nintendo has got the right idea. Oh, hey, you. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well? Oh, okay, I'm just taking on everybody's favors. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Would you please hasten the search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? I smell a fetch quest.
What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh... Well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph from a famous movie star, right, guy? Yeah, sorry, though, that's a no-can-do for me. My fee for autographs is out of your budget. Hmm. Perhaps that young bub child just wants something for someone he admires. Whatever it is, we must find it soon. A yummy, sticky ginger is out there. <laughs> you gotta do it from the trouble center in Rogueport. No, just let Mario step out onto the train tracks. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Ah, the engine. Bring this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay, well, I don't know... Oh, wait, wait. I think, yeah, I think I know what's going on. I think I know what's going on, boy. He does want an autograph, but he didn't say from who. And no, I'm not playing dumb. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Generally speaking, when it comes to games, even games that I really enjoy, the further I get, the less I remember. Second hint. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. What does she smell? What is it, girl? What is it? Oh, there's a star piece in there. Thank you, Miss Miles. Because I would not have thought to check that. No, I- I'm pretty sure I know what- Know what he wants, but I don't know how to give it to him yet. So just give me- give me one second. this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it should be a super mushroom at the very least. Yeah, like I said, I know what he wants, but I don't know how to give it to him yet. Like, there's something I need. I need to check everybody's drawers. Trust me, I am authorized to do this. I mean, I already checked his, but I'll do it again. Did 
Yeah, there's like a gold- she wants the gold ring. And she wants the shell earrings. But I don't know where those would be. Hmm. I'm gonna bring the mouse back out. The mouse back out. Does anybody in this train have a piece of paper? I didn't mean to press that. Anything in here? Everybody is paper. Okay. Fair enough. But listen, see, this is pre-sticker star, so they're not cognizant of that fact. Or maybe only barely cognizant. Like, maybe they just have nightmares about it every night. Okay, maybe this guy? I can hear everything that family's fighting about from loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> no? Well, alright, well what do, what do I- how do I do that? Oh wait. Could it be her? Hmm? No? But I can blow the lamp. I mean, she is an actress. I... hmm... Hmm... Yeah, I need to- I need to figure out how to give him what it is that he wants. I'm gonna hit this man. I didn't mean to hit her, but you know... You gotta do what you gotta do. How often do random humans go, Wow, whoa, I'm meat! <laughs> Very true, yes. I mean, people don't point at, like, a leg of lamb and say, look, it's me! Or at least I, I don't. Yo, dog, where's the paper? Where's an autographable item? Oh, I can get a gold bar times three if I get 300 points. I mean, it's still possible about the, uh... It's still possible about the, you know, fetch quest. Like, maybe I need to find their thing first. I can climb up on the table. No. I, what if I do this? Oh. What if I roll around like this? No, that doesn't help me.
Hmm. Dude, this is the puzzly one. I mean, I don't know, ma'am. You could give me, like, a hint, like, you know, where have you been? You know, where you might have lost them? I mean, I guess on the train somewhere. Just, I don't know, you could give me something. There's some spookiness going on in here. I didn't mean to do that. What do you have to say? I knew I knew him. There's a zip toad, the movie star. Women go wild for him. You know, he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck up about being famous. I guess all celebrities are kind of like that. It's too bad, because I kind of like them. Like, I don't know, maybe I'd fuck him if, like, you know, the, the opportunity presented itself, but... You know, I'm not going to go super out of my way to do it. <laughs> hmm... <laughs> oh! You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Okay, well, that that's not the solution I thought it was. See, I thought the twist was, like... Oh, he wants one from the Great Gonzalez. Maybe I'm no better than Zip Toad. Maybe it's gone to my head, too. The conductor tells you he wants to drive trains, though. I mean, true. I didn't put two and two together, I guess. So, did you bring me what I want most? Hey, yeah, bingo, mister! It's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Ah, Shine Sprite. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of- why- I don't know why he's Australian now. Like, I realized how I wasn't doing his voice. And, and then I was like, oh, I gotta do the voice. And then it's like, oh, yep, welcome to- well, welcome to Down Under, mate. Honestly, I think that might be a good place to call it for the night. I think next time we'll, you know, we'll do the puzzles and we'll, you know, do the other stuff. But anyway, thank you.
kind of an odds and ends stream i apologize not as much of chapter six as i thought there was gonna be but sometimes it's just it just be like that you know sometimes it just be like that but i i will see you around have a good night oodles <laughs>